Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy. I am a shopper in the Nashville Metro. Um, I'm here today to bring you a review of the Ship Shopper Weekly from January 3rd. Just a quick rundown of one section of that email that took you to a link about growing your business and increasing your shipped game, okay? What we're going to look at in particular is the section of that page, I guess, that says everything is a learning experience. This section of the article states that ship shoppers receive 35% more per hour in base pay by their 500th shop. I think an important distinction to make there is it says per hour, not per order. There's a really big difference there, okay? So do please understand that doing more orders does not always net you more money, okay? So let's take that a little further. If you keep reading in the article, you get some advice um, shared from veteran shoppers, kind of a, in a summary in the last couple of sentences. It says that one key component of increasing your earnings is shopping efficiently. So let's talk about what that means in action while you're out there shopping. We're gonna go through three things. Number one, you need to know your stores. You need to know the layout of the store. You need to know where things are located, you know, like some stores have uh, natural sections and regular sections, and you need to know what items are where. So it might be worth your while to spend some time not on a shop learning and getting to know your store. Or maybe you're a little early, have some extra time on a shop, you could do it then as well. Knowing your store also means finding your route through the store. Each store has a little bit of a different layout starting point, but they all kind of have generally the same sections. I like to start with the things that are kind of less familiar and harder to find, and oftentimes that might be the pharmacy or personal care section because we shop those, shop those items less frequently. So I typically start there, get those out of the way, and then I'm not crunched for time toward the end of my shop. Then I'll carry on through um, like household and drinks and dry goods and things like that, and then I will work my way around produce, deli, meats, dairy, and then frozen last. Uh, and that's my preferred route through pretty much any store, but of course I might vary that depending on the layout. So you just have to find your way of shopping. Why do I think it's important to know your store? I don't want you to be zigzagging and backtracking. You're gonna reduce backtracking by knowing which way to go first, what items are where. You also might wanna take some time to scroll through your list before you leave a section because sometimes the catalog doesn't quite match up where something is gonna be correctly. For example, you might have yogurt listed in snacks. So um, you wanna make sure before you leave uh, beverages or maybe the breakfast style, you might scroll through um, your snack category and see if there's anything listed there that might be in the breakfast style. Make sense? That's going to keep you from going back and forth too much. Number two tip. Save your stock checks for the end of your shop. Okay? Or maybe just the end of a section. If you're spending half your time at the store standing around waiting for a reply on a substitution from your customer or for somebody to run back and check stock on something, you're going to be there all day and you're going to drive your store employees crazy and you're just going to basically burn time. So save that stock check or substitution te text or whatever for the end of your shop or the end of a section. And that's gonna depend on your store, your customer, the size of your shop and things like that. You'll figure that part out. Keep an organized cart. Y'all, the days of just throwing stuff in your cart and moving on are over. I want pretty neat stacks. I usually put my heavy stuff in first, like cases of water or sodas, drinks, things like that. I like to grab those first and put them actually in my cart and not underneath. That's gonna save my back, but also put those heavy bulky items right there where I can grab them and put them on the belt first if I want to. 
big orders, that gets a little more tricky. Poor grammar, whatever. Moving on. So um, utilize uh, bags, utilize the sections of your cart, utilize your tote bags, your cooler bags, and things like that to organize things and store things. So then when you get to the belt, or if you're looking for a uh, substitution or whatever, but when you get to the belt, then you're just boom, 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 boom. You're stacking your bulky items, and then your dry goods, and then your produce, and then your frozen, and then, you know, whatever. Um, Smushy items I usually put in the um, little child seat so that I don't put anything accidentally on top of those and that'll help you a lot. But that, that nice neat stacked cart is going to uh, save you time in the long run, spending that extra few seconds, all right? All right, guys, those are some of the things that I do to get me through the store more efficiently and faster because making more per hour means shopping more efficiently, not shopping faster, shopping more efficiently, not doing more orders, not doing more uh, volume. It's getting through the store much more efficiently, thereby, in the end, saving time, okay? Another thing I kind of want to add here is... Um, you know, by the time you get to your 500th shop, if you've done these three things that I've told you, you're going to learn where things are, and then you're going to be able to fill your orders better. If you're utilizing your stock people and finding things that aren't on the shelf, and you know where everything is in your store, you're going to be able to fill more orders 100%, hence the term unicorn. They're not really unicorns because it should happen almost every time you should be able to fill, un fill an order completely. Of course, that varies per store per metro, but that's is another way that when you shop efficiently and learn your store and do all the things that your hourly pay is going to go up okay so I hope this has been helpful to you I hope that it gets gets you through the store more efficiently and increases your hourly earnings less is sometimes more you don't have to do more orders to make more money all the time all right you just have to be efficient and do a great job have fun I'll see you guys Friday Thanks for tuning in.